recording also. And we're going to do a little bit of command line uh, EDA, okay? Using Akuro. Okay, this doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't load the first time every time. So it doesn't appear if it's going to work a second time. A third time it isn't working. Hmm. So what 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 this what this comes down to is that uh, uh, is that uh, ChatGPT doesn't have all the answers all the time. Okay, good. Now, I went out earlier and I uh, And I uh, downloaded the, the Superstore data. Let's come back over here to A14. There we go. Okay, good. And let's come over here. Terminal. New terminal. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, let's do this. Okay. And this is our column list. So let's start with something very simple. The question is, how many rows does, does our system have in it? Okay. Now, to, to, to determine that, we could use the uh, 
the Superstore data set. Okay. Now the next question we may want to ask is, uh, so that's, that's, that's the WC. The next command we can take a look at is, uh, we could take a look at the unique function, which, which does exactly what it says. It returns a unique list of data. So we can say, uh, and the cut command. The cut command is quicker to use and simpler to use than say a utility like awk, which we'll get to in the next session. So, so the first thing you do, you specify the delimiter, then the field number, or the column number. So we're going to look at the, we're going to see, uh, first of all, we want to see how many total orders. Well, we, we know how many orders. We have 9,995 orders, right? All right. Then we'll pipe this. Well, first of all, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's see what our first and last date is, okay? So we can say head dash two because we got the uh, we got the header row right. So the first the first order is uh, you know, the other thing we can do we we can also create a summary a summary file contains information okay. All right, and we can we can send this over to the uh, what are we gonna call it? Let's see, EDA dot. Okay, so now what we want to do is, we look, from this point on, we want to append everything. Okay, so next we we'll come over here, and we're gonna say tail one. All right, you know what? Let's just make sure we're, we're, we're doing this right here. Let's, let's, let's throw something else in there, shall we? Let's, let's, let's throw in a uh, sort command. Yeah, that's the way it is. Now I'm not sure if I actually uh, did that right. So now we got our date. Now we got our start date. Now we can come over and say we went to a pen, so we use a double right error. So now we got the start and the end date, right? We could, of course, you know, done a sort by date if we wanted to, but that's okay. So next way, to, next we want to take a look at, and we want to know the number of, of unique uh, we want to know We want to know the number of, of uh, unique uh, uh, order dates, okay? Because right now this contains all, because you know, there may be more than one order, okay, per, uh, there may be, there may be one, more than one order per date. So now we're going to turn a unique, we're going to do a unique, let's do a, let's do a, let's do a sort in here, okay? See all that. So we have 1,238 dates. Okay, good. What next? So now we don't need to do a count here. We could, I mean, we, we could, for instance, do a count by segment or something like that. Let's see. We, 
we can come over here. Okay. Segment, and we can list the segments. Well, first of all, how many how many customers do we have? We need to know how many customers we have. Now we could probably do some tricky about like doing like an echo or something like that to it, but that's okay. Customer IDs. So this this will give us a count of the number of number of actual customers. So we have four thousand nine hundred ninety nine customers. Now it'll be you know, and tomorrow night, just to give you a little heads up, tomorrow night. We'll be we'll be we'll be moving on to all, and we'll be doing things like counting the number of orders per segment or counting the number of orders per customer and stuff like that. So more summary information, basic single column group by functions. Okay, so so the segment is eight. So this is this this will give us a list of our segments. Hmm, not exactly what we wanted, was it? Interesting. So how come we did how come we didn't get a unique? Okay, let's go over here. Now we, we could of course yeah, yeah, that's alright, let's just come over here. Let's just take an app here. Let's do a P. Let's do it open. Desktop. GitHub. Haku. So this didn't work, did it? We need to do a sort. Yes, I know you. You you're dying to know how many orders we had per per uh, per. Uh, I know you're dying to know how many orders we had per segment, right? So let's do a sort. Let's just see how this looks. Okay, good. Segment. Well, we we know that we know that the that the state is well. It's just what the heck. Let's just let's just go ahead and include the states that's in there. Okay. Now notice at, at this point we do nothing complicated, but yet in my opinion, uh, so we can just take a look at this here. Make sure we got it. Okay. So all 50 states. Now we, we could have, we, we probably should have, you know, simply wrote out wrote, wrote out the uh, out the numbers. Okay. State. Let's do region. 
How many regions are there? There's five regions. Okay. You know, and how many products do we have? Let's try some little funky here, shall we? Okay. So 14 is what? 14 is product. How many products do we have? We got 1,863 products. Let's, let's take a quick look at uh, Eighteen hundred sixty-three uh, what products? Suppose we want to know the number of uh, of categories. We got four categories. All right. What about subcategories? How many subcategories are there? 18. So now the question is this. Let's, let's say we want, we want to know the number of uh, So 
let's say let's say you want to have a uh, the number of orders that has to do with uh, uh, So, the furniture, so there were 1,742 orders for furniture. What else? One thousand three hundred sixty-four uh, orders for the uh, for what the uh, for the category, I guess it is, right? Or the subcategory, the subcategory maybe, or the category. So we so we we get some we got we got some pretty good information here. Uh, the next level is is to uh, is to actually move on to something, say, awk. And uh, and do and do a, a group by for a single column. So we we we, we want to go from simply listing the number of orders for a state to actually uh, well to actually uh, so we we want to have all three. We we don't be able to count the orders either in terms of quantity in terms of order number of orders or the, or the quantity or the total sales by each state. So we essentially go do a, like a group by function in, inside of uh, you know uh, Tidyverse or, or, or Python, or Panda or something like that. Okay, uh, but you know, let's just do one. More. Let's just see how many orders we have for the state of Ohio. Two hundred thirty-two orders from Ohio. Five hundred forty-seven for uh, for New York City. All right. So again, some interesting, useful information. Now, now, why would you want to use this in production? Well, in all probability, you you may never have you may never have the opportunity to simply because the the, the, the computers you're working on may not have may not use GNU Unix type utilities on it. Okay. I mean, you're probably never going to use Linux on a, uh, you know, if, if you're a data analyst, you're probably never going to use Linux. You're probably never going to have shell access to a Unix machine or something like that. But nonetheless, this, this, it is useful. Now, one, one thing you may want to use it for, if you have a really large file with, with millions of records, and all you want is just Ohio, you can certainly use the grip function to only pull out the orders for Ohio. You may only, you may only be interested in, in, the, in the, you know, in the category and the, uh, and the sales total for each category. What's well, therefore, you know, rather than important all 1920 of the columns, you simply cut out, you simply cut out the, the subcategory, the category, and the and the sales and the quantity. Okay. But anyway, of course, the the best reason to do this is because it's fun. To me, this is fun. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of a relaxing way of doing some data stuff. 
without, without racking your brains trying to do a text analysis like we did earlier there. Okay, but anyway, so let's, let's, see, what we got. let's see what we got here now, time-wise, for this video.